you this um, evening as we uh, finish this very important encounter is how is your evaluation of the Basketball Africa League and your performance tonight? Um, you know, before I answer that, uh, you know, today is Africa Day. Right. And uh, I've spent 20 years now uh, involved in basketball on the continent. Right. Um, but I also woke up, um, you know, to the news of a tragedy in the U.S. Right. And I just want to take a moment to kind of share my thoughts on that. You know, obviously I'm hurt. I have small children. Um, but I'm also ashamed. Uh, you know, we have a former president who makes disparaging remarks uh, about this beautiful continent as if we, you know, we've got it figured out and Africa doesn't. And on Africa Day, to wake up to that, and and again with my experience of all all the amazing things that are are part of being African, um, I was I I was really ashamed. I was ashamed to be an American on this day. Um, so anyway, I just had to get that off my chest. The right. um, right. standard. Uh, you know, on on this day. Again, uh, I feel honored to have been a part of a very small part of the growth of basketball in Africa. Uh, I'm appreciative of all the amazing experiences that I've had on this continent, the places that I've been on this continent, the people that I've met on this continent, uh, and I thank all of you uh, for you know al allowing me to to be a part of the BAL. Thank you very much, Coach. It's, it's definitely a night of positives because when I was looking at your you did the great work you've done on the continent especially the number of trophies that you've won and of course the work aside from the from the trophies the work you've done i was you know in my mind i was like okay this is a time you know to take stock of all the positive things things that we have been doing together uh, and particularly you um it's always very important you know to look at the, the positive side especially after a game like this and of course um uh, excellent display um, of, of, of basketball, great product on, on, on the court. But I want you to come back specifically to the organization of, of the of the basketball league. Um, how how do you see the level of competition, and what do you, do you think the young people of Africa, being today being Africa, they can be able to 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 benefit from this from this great league? Um, yeah, I mean the you know NBA Africa has done an incredible job. Um, you know, not only during the Nile Conference, but obviously here, uh, you know, to see two great hosts in Egypt and now Rwanda, um, I, you know, I think it's an amazing opportunity. So, you know, for young players on the continent to have a league to aspire to, uh, you know, for young players to be able to grow starting in junior NBA, yeah. Move, moving potentially to an NBA academy, mm -hmm. then play, you know playing within the the BAL, uh, and then hopefully being drafted. I mean, I think that's the goal uh, for everyone involved is to see kids um, develop completely on the continent, and that they don't have to leave here um, in order to make it to the NBA. So, uh, and only its second season, you know, you can see the level of of basketball on the court. You can see. Uh, you know the fans um, excitement the level of professionalism around it um, so you know hopefully I can look back 20 years from now and, yeah. and say hey you know I was I was, I was a part of you know when this thing took off thank you very much coach I'll turn it over now to uh, Ikechuku Diogu uh, good evening and it's a pleasure to have you back on the court we've not seen mo much of you in action at the start of the finals, but you were, you were back today. It's always a pleasure having you and the great work you've been doing uh, on the continent, playing basketball, it being a source of inspiration uh, to, the, to the kids, as uh, Coach Will just m mentioned. How, how do you feel today? It's true that the, the winning streak has come to, to an end at the, at the Basketball Africa League, but of course we are proud of the contributions that you've made. How do you feel to, together with your teammates uh, about this league? And moving forward, what what are your ambitions personally as a player? Uh, well, the league is a great league. Uh, 
very fortunate and very happy to be a part of it, especially with a great club like uh, Zamalek. Obviously, um, we're disappointed. Uh, yeah, obviously we're disappointed because, um, you know, we wanted to uh, come back uh, to Cairo with the trophy. But um, at the same time, it's been a good experience. Uh, the league is just going to continue to get better and better. Um, uh, Rwanda is a beautiful host. Uh, everything has been first class. So um, uh, what's next is, um, you know, we uh, – Continue to train and uh, see what happens. Thank you very much. Could you go to questions? Uh, Ike, congratulations on, on a, a good personal performance despite really difficult circumstances for you. Um, it looked to me like you were in quite a bit of pain in your right leg. Am I reading that correctly? And do you feel that that you were, you still made the right decision to play on through the pain? If that, if I am correct. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this time of year, I think everybody is hurting, so I don't think anybody is one hundred percent during this time of the year. I mean, it's been a long season, so uh, you know I laced up my shoes, so um, no excuses. Uh, you know I played to the best of my ability and I left it all out there. So that's all you can ask for. Queen. Hi, coach. Um, all the same, great achievement to get here uh, with the um, beating record and um, ending it here. Um, how disappointed or how do you feel? Because we won't be seeing Zamalek in the third edition because um, Zamalek didn't win their league, the Super League, as well as um, ending the unbeaten run at this point. So how do you feel that we will not have Zamalek, the defending champions, in the third edition of the Basketball Africa League? And what does it mean to the whole of Zamalek and also in Egypt? Um, well, obviously, it's really disappointing. Um, you know, we, we were hoping to go out as champions. Um, you know, we knew when when Ali uh, won the Egyptian League Championship, that they would be representing Egypt next year in the BAL. Um, but, you know, we still wanted to leave a legacy uh, of, you know, being an undefeated champion and hopefully, you know, coming back here uh, in two years. So I think everybody, um, you know, is really disappointed right now. Okay. We have a question on Zoom. Thank you very much, Mark, for coordinating. Abdul, uh, uh, go ahead. Abdul, go ahead. All right, he typed out the question so I could read it. Okay. Abdul from Eurobasket.com. I have a question from Egyptian media to Ike. Hard luck for today's loss. Zamalek was leading with the end of the first half, um, but there's a drop in. There's a drop in level with the start of the third quarter. What happened and what was the reason? Uh, I'm not really sure what happened. I mean, they went on a run. We were trading baskets for a little bit. And, um, you know, they just they got really hot. That's pretty much what happened. They got hot. Um, we stopped hitting the shots. We had a couple of costly turnovers, and uh, they were able to push that lead out. And from then on, we were kind of just in scramble mode. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, Leonard, back to you. Uh, Coach Will, do you have any idea what comes next for you after this tournament? Uh, no. Um, you know, I've been away from my kids for quite quite a while. So, um, you know, for me, uh, it's about getting back home and being with them. Um, you know, my coaching journey has always kind of been one, you know, unexpected opportunity to another. So, uh, you know, whatever that opportunity might be, um, we'll, we'll see. But, you know, for now it's finishing this tournament strongly and uh, getting back, you know, hopefully uh, safely to, to see my, my kids. Another question? Just for 
as a Nigerian, you've played on that we've worked before, um, the Tigers. How was it like play, coming back to play for We've Worked? And um, when you got that call, how was it for you? Well, it's always great playing for uh, Coach Voigt. Um, you know, it's always easy to play for a coach who believes in your ability and knows what you bring uh, to the team. So I was very happy when uh, he asked me to um, come to Egypt. And uh, it was really a no-brainer for me because uh, I enjoy playing for Coach Voigt. All right, we'll have a question from Zoom. Yeah, Nefadul Hamid Adasi from Eurobasket just had a follow-up question for Coach asking, at this point, are you intending to continue with the team or leave, or are you still figuring out your plans for now? I mean, I'm, I'm 15 minutes off of a really hard loss. Um, you know, my contract uh, was for one season, so I came – you know, I came in the middle of the season. Uh, Zamalek was really struggling at the time, uh, second to last place uh, in the Egyptian league at that moment. Um, so, you know, they brought me in to try to turn things around. That's where all my focus has been. So, uh, you know, I'll shift that focus towards our third place game. Um, and then, you know, after all that, we'll just see what happens. One last question. Uh, Nanikasu Sagwanda from Cloud Media in Tanzania. Uh, so, Coach, uh, you mentioned going back to your kids and going back to the U.S. I would just want to learn what's the best story about Africa and about the Basketball Africa League that you, you would want to tell the U.S. people? And your kids, of course. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I like that question. Um, I mean, again, I've been really, really fortunate. Um, you know, a long time ago, uh, Masai Ujiri uh, brought me to the continent to help him with uh, just a basketball camp. And, and that camp has grown into uh, GOA. And through that camp, I met uh, Amadou Fall, and I met this fine gentleman back in that corner, uh, Lamine, who's now <laughs> running the first professional league on the continent, you know? So when I think about, uh, you know, just a bunch of young people um, trying to trying to grow the game and, and really, you know, they're African, right? So to allow me to be a part of that, to allow me to be a part of that journey, to see that growth firsthand, like I'm forever indebted to those people. Um, and they know that, you know, they're those, those are my brothers for life. So uh, the stories to my children are really more about the early days. Um, you know, I mean, Lamine and I ended up in Yankari Park and, you know, in northern Nigeria. Uh, just all, you know, all the sweat and hard work that went into trying to grow the game and to now look at it, you know, to, to just imagine that, uh, NBA Africa would produce something like this amazing. Um, I think is really special. No other questions. Thank you very much. Um, okay, if there are no other questions, thank you very much, Kuchikudjogu. Thank you very much, Coach Boy. It is always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, post game press conference. Game Zamalek from Egypt, 81 points. And Union Sportif Monastery and U.S. Monastery from Tunisia, 88 points. And we have with us here Coach Perzic and uh, Ate Majok. Majok, good evening. I think it's already morning, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, Coach Perzic. <laughs> and uh, congratulations to you both for these brilliant uh, qualifications to the... 2022 finals of the of the Basketball Africa League. Last year, uh, coach uh, U.S. Monasty <coughs> lost to this Zamalek side at the finals here in Kigali, and uh, this year U.S. Monasty is moving forward to play the finals here at the BK Arena on Saturday, May 28. How do you feel, coach? How are you feeling tonight? Uh, we can start with Major. Oh yeah, Major, of course. Start. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I mean, the job is not done. Uh, me, I just take it a game at a time. Right. Tell everybody, take it a game at a time. Right. Um, we got over this hump. <coughs> um, now we got to stop preparing for the next target uh, and focus on that. The job is not yet done, Coach. That's what uh, Magic says. Is that you share the same opinion? Absolutely. Absolutely. We came here to, to try to win like we won in Tunis and Cup and title. So, you know, opponent was very, very strong, actually official champion. But, uh, you know, we must, uh, we must immediately be calm. And as you see, I'm just tired, but, uh, you know, I, we are so happy, you know, for this, what we do. Right. But in the same time, you know, you must switch immediately on the on next game and that's it. And to give everything what we have. Honestly, I told you in last time, we are tired. We finished final of the Cup 15 of May. Uh, play of Syria was finished 10 of May. You know, we had two days rest and we come without, you know, actually practice after the, after the final Cup. But uh, this, you know, this is, that keep us in the shape, you know. Tiredness we must forget and to do everything what, uh, what we can on this tournament. Until now, we have to... Okay game. If you ask me for this game, I'm not so satisfied because uh, I think we can better, and uh, I'm really satisfied with the result. And now to focus on on next step, what which is what we must give everything what we have for the next step, all atom of the power of everybody, me, Majok, everybody in the team, staff to try to win the game. Majok and to Coach Perisic. Yeah, good morning, Majok and Perisic. I'm Patrick uh, from Otetink Radio, Chigari Rwanda. And my, my, my question is, uh, next session, next session, you've been the second, uh, but now you're on final. What are you going to do right now to carry out uh, the cap? Thank you. Um, I mean, look, <laughs> this is the, uh, the same situation as last year. Uh, now we want a different outcome. So for me, I'm going back to the hotel, ICE, uh, and start watching Rwanda. Uh, start to prepare, start to mentally prepare. Um, it, the same thing as everybody, uh, coach. I know he's been up for you know nights and nights, uh, watching and scouting Rwanda and preparing us for Rwanda, uh, not for for Angola. So we just you know we just getting ready for that. That's you know that's the goal. Same what Majok said, absolutely same. We didn't come here to lose, so will be very hard to win. You know, and this tonight was very hard. And Cape Town here, very good team. So uh, we didn't come to to lose. We come to win. So if it will be possible from tonight, we just rest and uh, immediately focus for uh, for the next two three days. We didn't believe me, We didn't see in Rwanda nothing. I, I heard about your country. It is beautiful. I am on laptop. <laughs> Honestly, I am on laptop. Hotel. We are there. You know. Unfortunately, I don't know if you'll see anything, you know, I uh, have a lot of things to see, but maybe on that one day you will invite me or I will come along to be tourist here and in that case I would like to see your beautiful country. Yeah. Uh, you saw Pedro, uh, performance, yeah, like the team that we face right? mm, But as, as I tell you, we really go step by step. So. You know, from now we from now we are thinking about them because maybe you know maybe FAP can beat them. You never know with who you're gonna play. Yeah, really. But Rwanda, everybody was talking. Reg will be at least in the same final, but wasn't in the same final. So because of that, uh, from now on we must rest and uh, tomorrow morning we immediately start to work and prepare uh, Angola. Very serious team, very experienced team, very good team. We must do our best to try to, to win this game. They will do the same. So one one will be on the top. Uh, 
Hi, hi coach. Uh, Nikasio Saguando from Clouds Media in Tanzania. Uh, so there was a point in the fourth quarter where your two uh, scoring leaders, uh, Slimane and Dixon, got into foul trouble. I just want to know uh, from your coaching standpoint, were there any pressure on the bench? Uh, because now you they are to play careful for them not to be to from, for them not not to be fouled out and for how uh the game for how intense the game was how would the environment uh at, at the bench and what did you tell them uh for them to keep their cool but we were trying as you said today we were trying to play with nine players sometimes we are trying to play with ten all the season we was doing that sometimes i was forcing sometimes my result was falling down exactly because i try to involve as much player as we as we can because we have this goal to try to win the championship and to try to come in rwanda prepare as much as we can so that you cannot do with six seven people you know so sometimes and i'm risk now i think everybody is re ready i think that uh, everybody are, have focus you know to help to this team and uh, uh, they start to sacrifice a little bit more than before and the only one way is uh, to some teams succeed it's you know you know one our say <coughs> famous serbian coach said when uh, you make the fault you know and if all 11 other people said it's my fault you know and everybody try to, to you know to go back and to try you know to to and to try to play defense because everybody feel my fault it's your fault and it's his fault in that case you know you know engine is going you know and now we are you know something i i said his words now we are something on that way you know that everybody start to work for each other you know what before i come wasn't honestly wasn't uh, the case and uh, three four months we was working on them there became the team now so you know i hope and in the last game, they will show this what they said. Last question from uh, Leonard. Uh, Majok, brilliant game. Um, yeah, I'm wondering, being South Sudanese, uh, is it of any particular significance for you to play like that in front of Luol Deng and also to watch how many fantastic performances throughout the course of the tournament we've seen from South Sudanese players? Um, <clears throat> I mean, being South Sudanese, um, I mean, it matters to me. Um, I'm not just playing for myself. Uh, I'm playing for the people of Tunisia and uh, people of South Sudan. So uh, that's, you know, double responsibility. Um, so, that, you know, that's a chip on my shoulder every time I walk on the floor. So that's all I focus on, to be honest. And, um, yeah, that's, you know, I'm playing for two different countries. I'm um, representing two different countries every single time. So, I mean, that's something I'm proud of that. And, uh, you know, we just got to focus on what's coming up. Yeah. Thank you very much, Majok. Thank you very much, Coach Perisic. And uh, wish you uh, very excellent preparations for, for the final game. Thanks. Thanks. See you on uh, Saturday.